Isaiah chapter 34 Come near, you nations, to hear, and heed, you people. Let the earth hear, and all that is in it, the world, and all things that come forth from it. For the indignation of the Lord is against all nations, and his fury against all their armies. He has utterly destroyed them, he has given them over to the slaughter, and their slain shall be thrown out, their stench shall rise from their corpses, and the mountains shall be melted with their blood. All the host of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be rolled up like a scroll. All their hosts shall fall down, as the leaf falls from the vine, and as fruit falling from a fig tree. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven, indeed it shall come down on Edom, and on the people of my curse for judgment. The sword of the Lord is filled with blood, it is made overflowing with fatness, with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of the kidneys of rams, for the Lord has a sacrifice in Bozrah, and a great slaughter in the land of Edom. The wild oxen shall come down with them, and the young bulls with the mighty bulls. Their land shall be soaked with blood, and their dust saturated with fatness. For it is the day of the Lord's vengeance, the year of recompense for the cause of Zion. Its streams shall be turned into pitch, and its dust into brimstone. Its land shall become burning pitch, it shall not be quenched night or day. Its smoke shall ascend forever, from generation to generation it shall lie waste. No one shall pass through it forever and ever. But the pelican and the porcupine shall possess it. Also the owl and the raven shall dwell in it, and he shall stretch out over it the line of confusion and the stones of emptiness. They shall call its nobles to the kingdom, but none shall be there, and all its princes shall be nothing. And thorns shall come up in its palaces, nettles and brambles in its fortresses, it shall be a habitation of jackals, a courtyard for ostriches. The wild beasts of the desert shall also meet with the jackals, and the wild goat shall bleat to its companion. Also the night creature shall rest there, and find for herself a place of rest. There the arrow snake shall make her nest and lay eggs, and hatch and gather them under her shadow. There also shall the hawks be gathered, every one with her mate search from the book of the lord and read not one of these shall fail not one shall lack her mate for my mouth has commanded it and his spirit has gathered them he has cast the lord for them and his hand has divided it among them with a measuring line they shall possess it forever from generation to generation they shall dwell in it Isaiah chapter 35 The wilderness and the wasteland shall be glad for them, and the desert shall rejoice and blossom as the rose. It shall blossom abundantly and rejoice, even with joy and singing. The glory of Lebanon shall be given to it, the excellence of Carmel and Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the excellency of our God. Strengthen the weak hands, and make firm the feeble knees. Say to those who are fearful hearted, Be strong, do not fear. Behold, your God will come with vengeance, with the recompense of God. He will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened, and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. Then the lame shall leap like a deer, and the tongue of the dumb sing. For waters shall burst forth in the wilderness, and streams in the desert. The parched ground shall become a pool, and the thirsty land springs of water. In the habitation of jackals where it lay, there shall be grass with reeds and rushes. A highway shall be there, and a road, and it shall be called the highway of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it, but it shall be for others. Whoever walks the road, although a fool, shall not go astray. No lion shall be there, nor shall any ravenous beast go up on it. It shall not be found there, but the redeemed shall walk there, and the ransomed of the Lord shall return.
and come to Zion with singing, with everlasting joy on their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness and sorrow, and sighing shall flee away. Isaiah chapter 36 Now it came to pass in the fourteenth year of King Hezekiah, that Sennacherib king of Assyria came up against all the fortified cities of Judah, and took them. Then the king of Assyria sent the Rabshakeh with a great army from Lachish to king Hezekiah at Jerusalem, and he stood by the aqueduct from the upper pool, on the highway to the fuller's field. And Eliakim the son of Hilkiah, who was over the household, Shebna the scribe, and Joah the son of Asaph the recorder, came out to him. Then the Rabshakeh said to them, Say now to Hezekiah, Thus says the great king, the king of Assyria, What confidence is this in which you trust? I say you speak of having plans and power for war, but they are mere words. Now in whom do you trust that you rebel against me? Look, you are trusting in the staff of this broken reed, Egypt, on which if a man leans, it will go into his hand and pierce it. So is Pharaoh king of Egypt to all who trust in him. But if you say to me, We trust in the Lord our God, is it not he whose high places and whose altars Hezekiah has taken away, and said to Judah and Jerusalem, You shall worship before this altar? Now, therefore, I urge you, give a pledge to my master, the king of Assyria, and I will give you two thousand horses, if you are able, on your part, to put riders on them. How then will you repel one captain of the least of my master's servants, and put your trust in Egypt for chariots and horsemen? Have I now come up without the Lord against this land to destroy it? The Lord said to me, Go up against this land and destroy it. Then Eliakim, Shebna, and Joah said to Rabshakeh, Please speak to your servants in Aramaic, for we understand it, and do not speak to us in Hebrew in the hearing of the people who are on the wall. But the Rabshakeh said, Has my master sent me to your master and to you to speak these words, and not to the men who sit on the wall, who will eat and drink their own waste with you? Then the Rabshakeh stood and called out with a loud voice in Hebrew, and said, Hear the words of the great king, the king of Assyria. Thus says the king, Do not let Hezekiah deceive you, for he will not be able to deliver you, nor let Hezekiah make you trust in the Lord, saying, The Lord will surely deliver us. This city will not be given into the hand of the king of Assyria. Do not listen to Hezekiah, for thus says the king of Assyria, Make peace with me by a present, and come out to me, and every one of you eat from his own vine, and every one from his own fig tree, and every one of you drink the waters of his own cistern, until I come and take you away to a land like your own land, a land of grain and new wine, a land of bread and vineyards. Beware, lest Hezekiah persuade you, saying, The Lord will deliver us. Has any one of the gods of the nations delivered its land from the hand of the king of Assyria? Where are the gods of Hamath and Arpath? Where are the gods of Sephrabahim? Indeed, have they delivered Samaria from my hand? Who among all the gods of these lands have delivered their countries from my hand, that the Lord should deliver Jerusalem from my hand? But they held their peace, and answered him not a word, for the king's commandment was to not answer him. Then Eliakim the son of Hilkiah, who was over the household, Shebna the scribe, and Joah the son of Asaph the recorder, came to Hezekiah with their clothes torn, and told him the words of Rabshakeh. Isaiah chapter 37 And so it was, when King Hezekiah heard it, that he tore his clothes, covered himself with sackcloth, and went into the house of the Lord. Then he sent Eliakim, who was over the household, Shebna the scribe, and the elders of the priests, covered with sackcloth, to Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos. And they said to him, Thus says Hezekiah, This day is a day of trouble, and rebuke, and blasphemy, for the children have come to birth, but there is no strength to bring them forth. 
It may be that the Lord your God will hear the words of the Rabshakeh, whom his master, the king of Assyria, has sent to reproach the living God, and will rebuke the words which the Lord your God has heard. Therefore, lift up your prayer for the remnant that is left. So the servants of King Hezekiah came to Isaiah, and Isaiah said to them, Thus you shall say to your master, Thus says the Lord, Do not be afraid of the words which you have heard, with which the servants of the king of Assyria have blasphemed me. Surely I will send a spirit upon him, and he shall hear a rumour and return to his own land, and I will cause him to fall by the sword in his own land. Then the Rabshakeh returned and found the king of Assyria warring against Libna, for he heard that he had departed from Lachish, and the king heard concerning Tirhaka, king of Ethiopia, he has come out to make war with you. So when he heard it, he sent messengers to Hezekiah, saying, Thus you shall speak to Hezekiah, king of Judah, saying, Do not let your God in whom you trust deceive you, saying, Jerusalem shall not be given into the hand of the king of Assyria. Look, you have heard what the kings of Assyria have done to all lands by utterly destroying them, and shall you be delivered? Have the gods of the nations delivered those whom my fathers have destroyed, Gozan and Haran and Rezeph and the people of Eden who were in Telassa? Where is the king of Hamath, the king of Arpad, and the king of the city of Sephavim, Hena and Iva? And Hezekiah received the letter from the hand of the messengers and read it. And Hezekiah went up to the house of the Lord and spread it before the Lord. Then Hezekiah prayed to the Lord, saying, O Lord of hosts, God of Israel, the one who dwells between the cherubim, you are God, you alone, of all the kingdoms of the earth. You have made heaven and earth. Incline your ear, O Lord, and hear. Open your eyes, O Lord, and see, and hear all the words of Sennacherib, which he has sent to reproach the living God. Truly, Lord, the kings of Assyria have laid waste all the nations and their lands, and have cast their gods into the fire, for they were not gods by the work of men's hands, wood and stone, therefore they destroyed them. Now therefore, O Lord our God, save us from his hand, that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that you are the Lord, you alone. Then Isaiah the son of Amos sent to Hezekiah, saying, Thus says the Lord God of Israel, Because you have prayed to me against Sennacherib, king of Assyria, this is the word which the Lord has spoken concerning him. The virgin, the daughter of Zion, has despised you, laughed you to scorn. The daughter of Jerusalem has shaken her head behind your back. Whom have you reproached and blasphemed? Against whom have you raised your voice and lifted up your eyes on high against the Holy One of Israel? By your servants you have reproached the Lord and said, By the multitude of my chariots I have come up to the heights of the mountains, to the limits of Lebanon, I will cut down its tall cedars and its choice cypress trees. I will enter its farthest height, to its fruitful forest. I have dug and drunk water, and with the soles of my feet I have dried up all the books of defence. Did you not hear long ago how I made it, from ancient times that I formed it? Now I have brought it to pass, that you should be from crushing fortified cities into heaps of ruins. Therefore, their inhabitants had little power. They were dismayed and confounded. They were as the grass of the field and the green herb, as the grass on the house tops, and grain blighted before it is grown. But I know your dwelling place, your going out and your coming in, and your rage against me, because your rage against me and your tumult have come up to my ears. Therefore, I will put my hook in your nose and my brigle in your lips, and I will turn you back by the way which you came. This shall be a sign to you. You shall eat this year such as grows of itself, and the second year what springs from the same. Also in the third year sow and reap, plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them. 
and the remnant who have escaped of the house of judah shall again take root downward and bear fruit upward for out of jerusalem shall go a remnant and those who escape from mount zion the zeal of the lord of hosts will do this therefore thus says the lord concerning the king of assyria he shall not come into this city nor shoot an arrow there nor come before it with shield nor build a siege mound against it by the way that he came by the same shall he return and he shall not come into this city says the lord for i will defend this city to save it for my own sake and for my servant david's sake then the angel of the lord went out and killed in the camp of the assyrians one hundred and eighty-five thousand and when people arose early in the morning there were the corpses all dead so sennacherib king of assyria departed and went away returned home and remained at nineveh now it came to pass as he was worshipping in the house of nisroch his god that his sons adramelech and sharezer struck him down with the sword and they escaped into the land of ararat then esaradon his son reigned in his place